back to a special bonus episode of Callbacks. Today, I'm so blessed and excited to be sitting down with someone you may not be so familiar with, Joey. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Our international traveller from uh, over from London at the moment, mm -hmm. and uh, we were managed to steal you away to watch a couple of little bits and pieces with you. So, first question is, because this is a quite unusual one, we're not watching something that is a show that was ever released. We're going to watch yep. a couple of trailers for a show that never got made. That's right. But was the precursor to Teenagers Guide 2, which ended up coming out about two years later. Okay. And you met Mario last night. Yep. Um, and obviously hung out with Glory as well, who are both in Teenagers Guide 2. Yep, that's yeah. right. That's right. But this was like the inspiring... This was the script before that happened. Okay. Yeah. Cool. This was the sort of originator. Okay. And so what? So first off, what do you remember at all? Because it was a long time ago. So this is 2014. This is just before you moved to the UK. Yeah. So this was a long time ago now when we did that. Do you remember anything about what I'm about to show you? Um, I remember um, uh, very little. Fair. Very little. I know that Liam was in it. Yeah. Um... I could not tell you what character he played, mm. but I want to say it was like a geek. Well, you were the geek, actually. Was I the geek? Yeah. Okay. He was the um, the character that, that then became Lewis, who was more of like a. Um, he liked to speak in sort of like classical terms, and he was very like about the sort of Shakespearean era and things like that. He okay. liked that sort of like flamboyant sort of side of things. Wow. Okay. And that was that's what then became the character that um, an actor named Casey Pram played. No recollection of these oh, details. I totally wow. understand. This, this is really totally gonna understand. But first of all, massive fan of callbacks. Massive fan of callbacks. Oh, I'm yeah, glad. no, really, really glad to be here. Oh, yeah, thank yeah, you majorly. so much. Thank uh, you for being here. No idea what to expect from this. All right. Well, shall we? Shall we watch? Let's shall we going to watch the first trailer? This is, I believe, the only thing we have with you. There yeah. was the video a couple of years ago around Christmas when you were last over that you were in, but you can't really tell that you're there because it's quite dark. Okay. <laughs> it's you dancing with Mads and Tori at the Motet Christmas lights. Right. All right. Let's go for it. I'm so I'm a little bit hungover. <laughs> that's that's uh, all right, uh, mate. That's cool. Okay. So what's happening with Louis? He'll be here soon. <laughs> Just like this new online TV show. Come round to our tea rower. Huh. I usually stir my tea. I don't row it. But Is that supposed to be funny? <laughs> it's not good. It's so bad. It's not. It's not. It's not awful. It's not terrible, but it isn't. Um, Nothing amazing. I think I think Chai delivered on that one. She did. She yeah. did a good job. So yeah. so do you remember anything about that, that particular um, I, filming? Because we shot it twice. Yeah. So it should be added. So we shot it once in one of the A block classrooms and then we reshot it here because that A block one was too noisy or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So I remember that there was a lot of thought, a lot of effort that went into it. Mm -hmm. And it paid off, obviously. I don't know if I agree with you there. <laughs> I rewatched it with China and Glory, and they both agreed because obviously China was see seeing it for the first time in a long time. Yeah. That you can't even really tell from that the show that would then become Teenagers Go Two coming out of it. You, I can imagine. you really couldn't actually see the two relating. Thing is, uh, we, you've just pulled up another clip. Mm -hmm. And there's an establishing shot in this one. Well, this is so. I was just going to say so. Of that original film, the original series that we were going to make, you were going to play a character named Walter. Yeah. Yeah, and it was sort yeah. of a nerdy character, sort of yeah. vibe. And um, we, while we never got to make the film, we did in fact shoot one scene. Do you recall this? <sighs> It was on your very last day Whoa. at White Sackery College. Whoa, really? It was a scene that then became a scene in the actual episode, which we'll watch in a second, okay. between um, that Walter character and Eddie. And Eddie then played him again in that film that came later in later years. Oh, right. There is a photo that I have of that. Okay. I don't have the clip anymore, but I have the photo. Wow, so it happened. So it happened. Well, on my last day of YT. On your last day That's of YT. And there's a photo of you and him doing the scene. That kind of rings a bell. Yeah. I so definitely remember doing We'll look at that maybe. in a second, but I okay. was just going to... I'll skip along here and just find the particular piece. So this is it here. Uh, I'll go back a little bit there. 
Gone a bit far. It's a nice tie. Uh, a little bit further. Yeah, the piano tie was a classic sort of character choice. Mm. Okay, everyone. Look for wood, glass, and a stand piece. It's basically the next scene. Did you watch Star Trek last night? No. Too busy reading the relativity of decimal places. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, we're the time. We've got to go. Bye. Oh. Okay. See you, Finn. And that was it. That was the scene that we shot. It was, it was just that bit. Okay. And um, and I'll pull up the photo now because I do have that photo. I'm I'm curious as to the relativity of decimal places. Was I that, that that just sounded smart. I think I think it was one of those things that I wrote when I was fourteen, being like, <laughs> "This will be brainy enough." Um, that's the photo there. Oh, okay. So that's that's where we shot it. Similar sort of location as well. It was just a tree over, I think, when we nice. filmed later. But it's Eddie again as that character, and Good you time. sat there writing like mm -hmm. Walter was in the um, in the later episodes. But that's that's the only photographic evidence that I have that anything of that existed. Wow! Because for whatever reason, the video got lost. So this is crazy, though. It's is, interesting, right? It's a picture of me on my last day. Yeah. Wow. I know. You can't really see you. <laughs> it's a shame your head's cocked down like that. Mm, but mm. but you but in my head I can still remember doing that scene. We did it about twice, I believe, and uh -huh. um we did it at a lunchtime because it was the only time we had because we were, you know, yeah, ten. Yeah. Um Yeah. Pretty crazy. Is that who's in the back there? Uh you've got Amanda, Thomas. Brad uh -huh. Robinson and yeah. Selena Huang That's in the back right. there. That's right. Um, Very distinct backpack. Yes. She always had a, a light blue backpack, which mm. was always her sort of vibe. But there's a couple other photos here as well of the filming. So this oh. was the filming of that first trailer, but with the first time round. Uh -huh. So I'll, I'll have these running as well for the audience to watch at home. But um, just some classic cute photos of us all, you was know. Chai had just cut her hair I believe this was a fairly new look for her yes so good so good and she kept it yeah for oh, a number of years the yeah. young Zeb that's so nice yeah there's Mads as well there's you you're probably looking right at, <laughs> right at Mads like she's done something wrong uh -huh. <laughs> so that's that end shot again it's all of you looking at the camera right right um this is that second shooting of that same thing. It's obviously a time's come by because you've cut your hair in this one. Yeah. I think I wore contact lenses at this yes. point. But I did have glasses. Yes. And there was definitely a moment where we had, everyone had to quickly establish how blind I was before yes, going. Of course. Yeah. Brad holding up a three sign for some reason in the back there. Okay. One more than peace. Well, yes. Um... So it's, it's, it's some classic stuff going on there. <laughs> this is adorable. There's some great photos of you guys. You're all having a, look. You're all having a great time. A wild old time. Yeah. I wish I had the um, the sort of outtakes for some of the stuff, like the raw footage. I, you know, in recent years, I keep all the raw footage for stuff because mm -hmm. there's always going to be. St that's a great photo of you. <laughs> it's excellent. You're glaring at that camera so mm -hmm. hard. Mm -hmm. um, because, yeah, and the raw footage is always just nice to have those little bits and pieces, the little laughing moments that people have, so... When you film things now, do you have a behind-the-scenes... Generally, you... generally there's a behind-the-scenes thing. We haven't done one for callbacks because there hasn't... Generally, we keep everything in. Gotcha. Um, because most of it's interesting, you know? Cool, cool. Um, so if I go back to the video, so there's, there's two things in here. So there was a second trailer that we shot that was just Lars, and you were still on the show at this point. Mm -hmm. But this was before we'd filmed that scene of you. Yep, gotcha. We're in the sky. So, uh, yeah. what's this We just need to ask you some questions. And this trailer then yeah, featured okay. in Chocolate and Cheese. We've seen you around about with this Walter character. What are your thoughts on him? That's you. Um, well, he's a bit too nerdy for me, but he's into Star Trek, which is kind of cool. So what about these female persons, Tell Delilah and Sky? Well, Delilah kind of overdoes all the makeup right, and stuff, right. but, but, you know, she makes it work. And, uh, Sky, well, she's, uh, Sky's quite rough, but, you know, a strong person. And, uh, what about this, um, Louis character? 
Well, he's he's a bit of a. What did you say about me? No, nothing, uh, nothing. That's what I thought. Sorry, Louis. So this was at the point where Liam was no longer in the show. Right. He was going to be playing Louis, and then Samuel Garrett stepped in and replaced him with Louis. Uh huh. Um, and I believe Liam stopped because he just wasn't interested in it anymore. It okay. wasn't really for him. Okay. The the project. The project didn't, didn't spark joy. Okay. It didn't spark joy. Yeah, so at, at various stages, people left. I think the, the thing was that we talked to, to Gloria in China about, so I think um, uh, Liam left first, he was the instigator, and then you were moving, so you left. Mads left as a consequence of you leaving because she only wanted to do it if you were going to do it. Oh, really? China then left because Mads wasn't going to do it. Oh, shit. And I was left with Lars, Sam, and Eddie. Now, that became the grounds uh-huh. for what became Chocolate and Cheese because right. those were the main three Word. of that show with um, me and Rebecca as well. And, uh, yeah, it's just one of those funny coincidences. If that hadn't happened, that other show wouldn't have existed. That's you know? interesting. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. What? Come on, man. I, I, you know, it, I didn't realize it was uh, conditional, her <laughs> participation. <laughs> well, I think, um, I think it was one of those things where she was, you know, fairly young and probably had a bit of a crush on you, as most of the people at White Act did, as I'm sure you're finding out now. That guy? Walter? That guy, yeah. That's that guy in those glasses? That's just... That's just... That's on them. As well. And as a consequence of her wanting to do the show was because she got to spend time with you, I think. Well, that's... Sweet. And because your characters were going to have a little bit of sort of something going on as well, so... Oh, yeah. 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 I think I was looking forward to that. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Mm. Um... But so the only bit of footage that does still remain from that same day we shot the first scene with you and Eddie is this. Now, this is a clip of um, Emily, who then later came to do the makeup on the series in later years. Cool. China, who obviously went on to be in the series. Mm-hmm. And Samuel Garrett, who wasn't in the series, but was in those trailers and also was in Chocolate and Cheese. Mm-hmm. So I'll show you this. This is from that same day. And this is, uh, I think you can hear Brad in the background as well. And also, we played this at the end of the pilot. It's like, Bingo! We've got three minutes. Um, I just want to say thank you for everyone that's coming out tonight, and we'll see you next week. Nice. And that's it. Nice. Nice. But it's a cute little look at um, that era. Yeah. You know? It's a yeah. cute little, like, oh, yeah, okay, cool. Mm. Cool. Mm. Yeah. Sam is married now. He's married now. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I know. I know, crazy, wow. right? And and we were we were just like chickens, baby chickens running around. Mm, mm-hmm. That's so sweet. Yeah, I mean this was yeah two thousand and fourteen. Fourteen. So yeah, it's about nine years ago now. As wow. of as of the fact that today is the first of uh, January, twenty twenty three. Twenty twenty three. Yeah, crazy, right? Wow, wow. Yeah, mate. So do, now that you've had a look at that sort of stuff, does it, any of it sort of seem vaguely? Yeah. Family, you were you were sort of aware. You, were you aware that the show didn't get made after that? Yeah. Yeah. But then the, I know that chocolate and cheese was kind of the next thing to happen. Yes, and then there was the raising the vocals, which was the Glee film, mm-hmm. and then the Teenagers Guide too, because by that stage I had done chocolate and cheese and raising the vocals. I was ready to come back to that script, dust mm-hmm. it off, mm-hmm. and see what we could make of it. Mm. Um, Two manly men. Two Manly Men was a lot later, uh-huh. so there was The Tenders Go 2, uh, followed by the movie that never came out, that will come out at some stage, um, followed by uh, Jobs, which is one uh-huh. of your favourites, I believe, uh-huh. um, followed by um, just a series of other small videos, and then Two Manly Men. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Busy guy. Just busy get guy. as many series yeah. under, under the belt as we possibly can. But this is where... This, this was is your... where it all started. This was the first thing... Student commission... This was the first thing we ever did. Wow. Absolutely. Huh. Um, yeah, it was the first thing I'd ever edited. You can really tell it was the first thing I'd ever written. I mean, the editing's not bad. The Who did the original... Come round graphic. Other, that was Milan. Do you remember Milan? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So she was in our year at Wytak and she did that. She also did one of the pieces of artwork from Delilah's room in the final show that ended up coming out. Oh, cool. Yeah. So it was cool. sort of like a nice little That's so nice. circle moment. And as I was, I, I don't have my folder with me here, but I was showing Glory and China that I have this sort of big silver folder of all these old things and I have the original sketches wow. from that from her and um, <laughs> as well as the um, release form 
for the trailer from you for Ooh. this. Whoa, no so way. your name on it and your signature and saying it's good to go. Yeah, go out there. Whoa. Yeah, I know. I don't remember getting a release form for for this. For this? Yeah. We'll talk about it. Right? Yeah, okay, I'll, have my, I'll have my people call your people. Easy, easy, yeah, yeah, easy, yeah, yeah. easy. It was a, it was a million, right, for today? Uh. Uh, and, and options and options uh, yeah okay. I'll, I'll take five percent of all okay yeah, yeah. I, I won't make much off this <laughs> no, okay that's cool that's cool <laughs> thank you so much for all watching happy new year as is today is the the first day of 2023 madness um, thank you so much joe for being here and for walking down memory lane and you know looking at all this old cool stuff and the pleasure probably... was mine man the pleasure was mine yeah oh, well, thank happy you for to having me back yeah thank you so much and uh yeah thank you so much for watching callbacks um we may well be back with more soon but in the meantime go watch the spirit of christmas mm. um which is our new film which has just come out on christmas day um and uh we're actually about to go and watch that now aren't we so come on get involved it's a Connie productions marathon it is yep it is all right um but other than that thank you so much for watching and we'll see you later